everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the apple blossom stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this stitch, if you look, look closely, it features cluster stitches, which resemble a little bit like little blossoms or little flowers. So today we're going to learn how to crochet this stitch. It's the same on both sides. Today I'm going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook or an H8 as well as a little bit of worsted weight cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. Links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you'll find a direct link to the free written copy which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every week with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain today will need to be a multiple of 10 stitches plus 9. Today I'm going to chain a total of 29 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook and double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and double crochet in the next stitch. So you're working a double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Including your chain three at the start of your row, you'll have a total of six double crochet stitches. Your chain three counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to chain three. You're now going to work a cluster stitch over the next five stitches. To work your cluster stitch, you're going to yarn over Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that two more times in the same stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You'll have four loops on your hook. You're then going to skip the next three stitches and into your next stitch work another uh, part of the cluster. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that two more times all into the same stitch. You will have a total of seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all seven loops. That is your cluster stitch. You're then going to chain three. Next, work one double crochet in each of the next five stitches. We're now going to repeat. Chain three, work a cluster stitch over the next five stitches.
chain three and then finish off by working one double crochet into each of the final six stitches so you will work your five stitches and then you have one stitch remaining work a double crochet into that final stitch when you come all the way across your row that brings you to the end of your row one you can then chain three which counts as a double crochet and turn your work for row two you're going to begin by working a double crochet into each of the next five stitches You're then going to into your next uh, stitch, which is the first chain stitch that kind of brings your cluster stitch together. So this chain stitch is going to make the center of your blossom stitch. Into this next stitch, you're going to work a bobble stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops do that a total of two more times into the center of that stitch of that cluster down below once you have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all four that's going to be our bobble stitch you're then going to chain three and into the same stitch work another bobble stitch You're then going to skip the next chain three space and into the next each of the next five double crochets work one double crochet. You are now going to repeat that all the way across. Work a skip the next chain three space into the center of your next cluster stitch, which was the first chain stitch of the row down below. You're going to work a bobble stitch. chain three and bobble stitch back down into the center of your cluster stitch down below skip the next chain three space and double crochet into each of the next five double crochet stitches when you come all the way across you'll have one double crochet stitch remaining and you will which will be the starting chain three and you're going to work a double crochet into that final stitch the top of the starting chain three that brings you to the end of row two you're going to chain six which counts as a double crochet and a chain three and turn your work for row three I'm going to start off row three by working a cluster stitch over the next five stitches
chain three and double crochet in each of the next five stitches, which includes the top of your bobble stitch. And then you can either work into each of the chain stitches or you can simply work three double crochets into that chain three space. And then into the top of your next bobble stitch. You're then going to repeat work a cluster stitch or chain three and work a cluster stitch over the next five stitches. Chain three. and double crochet in the top of your next cluster stitch, three double crochets into your chain three space, and double crochet into the top of your next cluster stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across until you have one stitch remaining. When you come to your final stitch, which is the starting chain three, work a final double crochet into the top of your starting chain three. That brings you to the end of your row three. At the end of row three, you're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row four, we're going to skip the next chain three space and into the center of our next bobble or our next cluster stitch sorry we're going to work a bobble stitch chain three and bobble stitch into the same stitch You're then going to skip the next chain three space and work a double crochet into each of the next five double crochet stitches. We're now going to repeat work one bobble stitch, chain three, and bobble stitch into the center of the next cluster, skip the next chain three space and work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across until you have this chain stitch remaining. You're going to finish off by working a double crochet into the third chain of that starting chain six. That brings you to the end of row four. 
you can then chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row five, we're going to double crochet into the next stitch, work three double crochets into your next chain three space, and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain three, and work a cluster over the next five stitches. Chain three, skip, or sorry, chain three and double crochet into the top of your next cluster stitch. Work three double crochets into the next chain three space. And double crochet into the top of the next cluster. I should say bobble stitch. You're then going to chain three and work a cluster over the next five stitches and repeat this all the way across. When you come all the way across, you'll have one stitch remaining, which is that turning chain three. You're going to work one final double crochet stitch into the top of your turning chain three. Chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. That brings you to the end of the repeats for this pattern. All you're going to do from now on is repeat rows two, three, four and five for as long as you would like fasten off weave in your ends and that is your apple blossom stitch so thank you so much for joining me on this stitch tutorial and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe check out some of the other stitch tutorial videos and i look forward to seeing you again next week until then happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.